Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and I am very excited to take a look at this brand new footage from an upcoming space sci-fi RTS that is absolutely mind-blowing. It looks great, it sounds great, and I hope it's going to be great beyond all reason. And the reason I say that, of course, is because this is being published by the same folks who are also publishing Manor Lords. Yeah, Hooded Horse is the one publishing this one, and I can't wait for it to release, hopefully, sometime in 2023. And of course, I'm talking about Falling Frontier, a game coming soon to Steam that will be a single-player grand strategy simulation 4K space game that really looks appealing. I've got to say, the, again, the sound design for this one on the ships and the radio chatter between them, and also the immersion of kind of the environment and uh, the atmosphere of space, which is hilarious because there is no space and atmosphere, but these guys managed to somehow create an atmosphere of a different type, like a, a feeling or a vibe that really captures all the ships and all of the uh, yeah, kind of like all the asteroids and planets that you may be orbiting. Well, today we're going to take our first look at some brand new footage for a duel above Saturn, but I got a lot of stuff to get caught up on since the last time we took a look at this about a year ago. There's been a lot of development and little teasers and things that have been dropped from time to time, and I want to get caught up on those, including this, a mining ship that uh, is... I guess mining all sorts of different asteroids and, well, minerals, materials and whatnot, and bringing them back for refining and processing. Now, this is a game that I hope eventually comes into a uh, franchise and gets lots and lots of love, and uh, the Hooded Horse publisher that I mentioned before is grabbing all sorts of interesting space games, including Terra Invicta, which is one that's a little bit like Hearts of Iron on Earth, but then quickly expands where you can build uh, ships and uh, stations in space and kind of do what you can do here. It's almost, it almost feels like a prequel, even though they have nothing to do with each other, where uh, at this point, humanity, 200 years in the future, as you can see up there, I think it's 2545, has now kind of, a, well, obviously expanded way, well past Earth and is now bringing those resources back and mining all over. So I'm very excited to take our first look at the Battle of Saturn and take a more in-depth look at some of these ships and just get a vibe for them moving around. It's just really cool to see these ships kind of interacting with each other, almost like pushing each other here. One apparently is like a, well a mining ship and like a fabricating ship and it's cool that they can actually touch each other if you if you've seen nebulous before on the channel you get the vibe here of these ships being like super heavyweight behemoths that are like just absolute monstrosities of mass they don't work or fly like the starship enterprise and they don't fly like the uh, millennium falcon they you know they're not sports cars they're absolute like you know boats, their ships, their massive, huge, hulking uh, monstrosities that need to be pushed around via their engines, gargantuan engines pushing them around, just like how it is in Nebulous that I mentioned before with uh, ships being slow, having to get up to speed, having to turn and slow down, and it, it almost like it's like they're in the mud, and that's just got me excited for this game beyond belief, and I can't wait to get my hands on it, hopefully sometime soon. Now, again, the release date is 2023, so it could be anywhere from a couple of months from now to the end of the year, or possibly get delayed, to which I am all for. If the developers don't feel like this one is ready, don't release it. Take all the time that you need. Don't even feel that, that you're pressured to give us a release date. Just give us an outstanding game that makes us want more. And that's all I really have to say on that one, really. And uh, hopefully we get more uh, content in the future for this one, not only before its release in terms of us to look at and to drool over, but also, uh, of course, when it releases to give us more campaigns and then maybe eventually more features like editing and uh, making our own missions and possibly maybe multiplayer, but make a single player experience, make it damn good and build from there. And it seems like that's what they're going to do. All right, we're going to jump in now to see the battle for Saturn, I guess. And uh, then we're going to talk about a little bit more detail of what's coming soon. Is it confirmed? Yes, it's confirmed. Fourth Fleet is engaged in operations around Jupiter. Well, who else is there? The Caligula and Richmond. Okay, patch me in. Caligula, this is Comstat Fleet, over. This is Caligula, Roger, over.
Wow. You know, for me, there's only one other game that's made me feel small in a massive world of activity and huge hulking ships, and that's got to be Homeworld, including Deserts of Karak, which, of course, you can find all that on the channel, and that's another upcoming game that I think recently was delayed to 2024, so now Falling Frontier is really the biggest, well, in terms of, like, massive ship scales uh, that we have in terms of games coming soon, and I hope both Homeworld and Falling Frontier are both massively successful, so that way we get more from Homeworld and a fr like a fresh new franchise, but yet covering space and looking a lot more like battleships and steamers and dreadnoughts, and that just looks incredible. Can't wait to see more from this game. Hope the developers continue to drop these little. Uh, oh, these are these are actually painful. Like to see this and not being able to play it yet is huge. But one one little piece of advice is this, and this is great for any of you wanting to play games soon and for free and to test out little nuggets before you get a chance to fully buy them you know what i mean like they're not even available for sale is steam next events add this one to your wish list including manor lords and many others and every time that you see the steam next event go to steam and type that in into the search bar and see if there's a demo for it there's no telling whether or not falling frontier will get a demo if it does it will blow my mind and we will cover it here on the channel but there's nothing better for you than being able to test it out yourself, whether it be a beta, a prologue, or a demo, and get your own hands on something and test it out for yourself to cut through all the hype and all that. I don't mind getting excited about things. I certainly know that my hype is different than my expectations, which is also different than the reality. But I think the reality here is that we're getting a game that is made by, obviously, huge RTS fans, gamers, making games for gamers that they just want to make a good game. They're not marketing a product no, they're, they're making a pretty cool space game that they want to be proud of and something that will stand the test of time. And, of course, when it releases, it'll only get better from there. They'll take all the feedback and all the um, information that they get from people on any sort of bugs or crashes and be active in the Discord. And hopefully we don't have those problems, right? We could only hope. But I hope that we get an absolute banger of a space game for 2023. Again, with Homeworld pushed back to 2024, which is, I'm totally fine with. Great, great news. Uh, I hope this is a great one that we get uh, to look forward to and comes out and that we're all excited for. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the trailer down below in the comment section. What ships are best? What are some of your favorite space franchises? Or what would you like to see in terms of possibly mods for this game? What would be some class ship types or other types of uh, maybe you know warhammer level stuff that you'd love to see in this game either somebody modding in or a game in this style from a different franchise like hell we need another actual good rts uh game for star wars that's not freaking uh, ea ah oh, that's all i'm saying all right y'all have a good day thank you very much for dropping by let me know your thoughts and i'll see you all next time goodbye